Hey guys, so I decided to do e.l.f. as my one brand tutorial. So the first thing that I do is conceal, and I decided to pick up this Studio Concealer. This is the first time I used it, and I put it on my blemishes. I also put it under my under eyes, and decided to use it as a primer for my eyes. Before deciding to do this tutorial, I never tried any e.l.f. foundation, so I decided to use this Flawless Finish Foundation and it has a pump which is very handy and it was also six dollars which i think is a really good deal for for any foundation especially at the drugstore so i found the consistency medium coverage it was actually thicker than i anticipated i thought it might have been more of a sheer coverage but it applied very nicely and i think i might have gotten half of a shade too dark after i finished foundation i decided to use this baked eyeshadow in pixie as a blush because i thought it was the perfect pink so i had to go in multiple times with my brush to make sure that i got the right pigmentation honestly i didn't have a blush from elf which is why i use this but it did come off a little bit more frosty than i anticipated to make sure i was in place and would stay on for the entire day I decided to use the High Definition Powder in Translucent. I've heard so many great things about this powder and that the lasting power of this powder is really great, so I decided to test it out. This is my first time using this powder, but it did end up looking translucent and it didn't seem to leave a white cast on my face at all. So for this eye look, I decided to keep it pretty plain and neutral, so I went in with peach fuzz and used this all over my lid, and I just used my fingers to apply it because I didn't feel like a brush was needed. Then I went back in with the baked eyeshadow, the pink one, and I just used this as an inner corner highlight, and I also used it on my inner third of my eye and just blended it in with peach fuzz because I thought it gave a really nice neutral eye look. I also decided to focus more on my eyeliner and my mascara within the The next thing that I grabbed was this small eyeliner brush and I really love these Studio Cream eyeliners from e.l.f. I think that it's their best eyeliner that they've come out with within their line and they're just a really creamy formulation. The only thing is that they dry out pretty fast. But they are only $3 which I think is such a steal so I just put this on my top line and I did it kind of a little bit thicker just so it gave it my eyes a little bit more definition and a little bit more drama. Finally I decided to go in with a second eyeliner and this is just the liquid liner which I also find is a really good eyeliner from e.l.f. and this is even better than some of like the Maybelline eyeliners in my opinion. And I think this just works perfectly for cat eye. It is kind of a little bit hard, especially for beginners to use the liquid eyeliner. I would recommend a felt tip eyeliner. So I picked up this Studio Mineral Infused Mascara and I really didn't know what to expect and what to get as results. But overall, I did not like this mascara. I would not recommend it. It did nothing for my eyelashes and I didn't like the formula or consistency at all. I feel so bad because I did not have any e.l.f. brow products and I didn't even have a dark brown eyeshadow from e.l.f. which is what I would have used instead so I decided just to use my regular eyebrow products from Anastasia. Then I decided to go back in with the gel liner just to add more focus onto my eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I love making these one brand tutorials. The next one I'm going to do is Wet n Wild. Hope you guys subscribe. Bye.